There's a lot I could say about Scott Steiner, but his jaw-dropping physique really tells you everything you need to know. You truly have to see it to believe just how powerful Steiner is. I think the only thing that fears Steiner more than his opponents is weight room. This guy eats 100-pound dumbbells for breakfast. The raw power he wields is almost unbelievable. I'm sure just about anyone who's been on the receiving end of Steiner's strength would agree with you. But if he isn't careful tonight, he might end up in the jailhouse courtesy of a big boss man. And boss man will have no problem taking him by force. We're talking about one of the most callous and barbaric superstars around. And as tough as Boss Man is, that one seems to have caught him cold. Steiner put it all of his freakish power to work. If I'm Scott Steiner and I'm looking at this match, I have to think my raw power is the best difference maker I've got. So Steiner has to fully unleash his freakish strength if he wants the W. I can definitely see Steiner's muscle tipping the scales here. He dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. And Boss Man is being taken apart here. This is just Steiner fully unleashing his power. He's using those muscles to knock his opponent around. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Now the reversal by the Boss Man. Look at this, no quit whatsoever. Ready down elbows and escaping the bear hug. Military press. Ooh. He's getting put down into the defensive. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Momentum really on Steiner's side now. Scott cashing in on his opportunities. Heavy body shots. Whipped hard. What a clothesline. Elbow drop. Piercing. Putting in on the arm. <laughs> Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal form. looking powerless to every attack. Bossman has to gather the energy to turn the tables. Lifted off the mat, suplex position. What? Thanks for coming. Did Scott just close this out? He's on the ropes. The official sees that it waves off the pen. the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Not the position you want to be in right now. Right across the left. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Suplex! The big boss man regaining his composure, standing tall right now. He foiled that attempt. All the way up. He's leaving down with a sidewalk slam. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Top rope. Here we go. From the top rope. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. Now, I don't care how much matting you put on the floor. You are feeling the cement after that miss. So much damage inflicted. The big boss man regaining his composure. Oh, here we go! Suplex! Oh my gosh, into a pile driver! This bell's trouble for boss man! Shoulders down!
faction widely considered to be one of the greatest tag teams ever. Despite the... Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. And Scott with the wherewithal to counter. <laughs> Hitman never saw that coming. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. Good night. Dropped it with a big shoulder tackle. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, these debilitating forearm strikes. Ooh, right in the face. Still holding the upper hand now. Rare to see the hit man baffled like this. Brett finally creates some more offense for himself. Brett could be turning his fortunes around. He's in off the tag. And he sends him into the corner. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. Smart attacking the arm. Punch connects. I lost body. Devastating elbow. Now it's Jim the Anvil Nighthard playing some defense. Ooh, that might have just broken something. And responds with a counter of their own. Launched with a belly to belly. Everything's working against Neidhart now. Steiner is making an opportunity for himself. An arm breaker. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Connecting with a sharp elbow. See that? 
The Hitman looking overwhelmed here. At this point, it might be too much for him to recover from, Cole. We've seen Bret Hart make some big comebacks before, and he'll need to do it again. Now that and a miracle. These are three superstars who know how unpredictable triple threat matches are. So you might see some caution with Scott Steiner, Jake Roberts, and Roddy Piper. Three competitors, one fall to a win, and this is where we start to separate the wheat from the chaff, so to speak. Oh, I rank. That's not right, but effective. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus on the opposition. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. And look at for a back suplex. Very nice. Triple threats are so mentally and physically draining. How do you keep the pressure from getting to you, Corey? In a triple threat, you have to play offense and defense at the same time. If you want to make it through, you got to have real mental toughness and just trust your instincts. There's no time to think, only time to act. Jake the Snake as cold and calculating as they come. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. In triple threats, the damage comes twice as fast. He knew that coming in. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. Comes back into the ring. Oh, man. Complex. Big forearm. He has been here before. Dropped here. Side headlock applied. Oh, good measure. He's returning fire. Double under hook. Driven down with a power bomb. That power bomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Jarring impact. in this one. He steps foot in the ring again. Crank in the head. And Scott saw it coming. Driven down with a power bomb. Scott is taking charge. Piper needs to be resourceful in this situation. And that's going to jam Scott's offense.
turnbuckle. Drop him with a big shoulder tackle. Able to get the advantage here. This is a very dangerous situation now. Long out to drive. That's fun. And the piston like right hands. Ooh, just relentless. Vicious, aggressive attacks. Sentiment, but now is not the time to bask in disbelief. Close line in the corner.
making that shoulder vulnerable. He's back into the ring. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Paying it right back with a reversal. Dropping it with a big shoulder tackle. Dominating shoulder tackle. Superstar has to be looking over their shoulder in this match. They're dialed in for a fatal four-way with Scott Steiner, the Million Dollar Man, Yoko Suda, and Vader. It might sound cliche, but you really do have to have eyes in the back of your head if you want to survive a match like this. It's a fatal four-way, not a friendly four-way, no matter how much Saxton wishes it was. Hey, I still think it could be a good idea. Face first with a waist on the takedown. against them entering a fatal four-way. What's the best way to overcome those odds, Corey? Well, there's a few options, Cole. You can lay in wait for a moment to capitalize, or you could power through and take everyone on in first. The most important part is breaking up any pinfalls or submissions. Oh, he counters right back on Vader. Great counter. He's one step ahead there, and he's taking this to the outside now. And that was a first-hand example of a dirty attack. And he goes into the ring. Submission. Oh boy, check your watch. Vader knows what time it is. 
like the vibration of that one from all the way over here. And a back elbow.
Yokozuna turning up the intimidation factor. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. Settling on the kendo. Wasting them into the corner. Let's go! 
connection with that one. And Scott with the wherewithal to count. He's heading back to the ring. Oof! Lands the haymaker. Oh, Ooh. knee left. Somebody better check his nose. Oh, boom! Oh, Steiner anticipated that. And out of the ring he goes. Bruno Sammartino has been eliminated. Heavy body shots. With Tom, what a close line. is why his name is mentioned when superstars get asked about dream matches. Just an unbelievable performance he had tonight, Corey.